Hi, this is Sean Conley from Epic Games. And today I'm going to show you how to drive a ICVFX or end display wall with a Xbox controller. In another video, we set up the Xbox controller using the LiveLink input device plugin. I'll go ahead and link to that in this tutorial as well. I wish I was good enough at YouTube where I can like put it in the, in the top right hand corner or something that just popped up, but I'm terrible at this. So anyways, let's just assume that you already uh, did that video and you, you have your little setup working. When you plug in your Xbox controller, it controls this driving blueprint through LiveLink. So let's go ahead and do that. You go into um, LiveLink source here. If I pick up my controller, you see that my controller is now controlling the blueprint and underneath that blueprint, I've got my end display config. So the end display config is moving around uh, underneath my blueprint. And I'm doing this through live link inputs. Now, how do you get this over to the wall, right? The issue is that right now, my live link input is going into my editor box, but it's not going into my end display node. What you need to do is you need to rebroadcast this, right? And rebroadcasting is basically sending this signal out. And once you rebroadcast it, if you go up to add source under this message bus source, you'll see this rebroadcast. Re so if you are doing this between two editors, like if you don't want to enter into a multi-user session, but you want to control another editor from this editor, this is a great way to do it, right? You just go ahead and rebroadcast. And then on the other editor, you, you just go on to add source, assuming they're on the same network or VPN. And you go to message bus and you'll see this rebroadcast come in here. And then you just subscribe to that rebroadcast and, you know, and one editor will control the other editor live link input. Now the problem with uh, ICVFX or end display nodes is that there's no, you know, editor UI that you can go in and manually do this. So what you want to do here is once you, so go ahead and, and click on this rebroadcast, right? Right here. And then go ahead in the same editor, go ahead and add that message bus source, make that rebroadcast source active, right? We, so we wanna make this active by default. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save a preset here. I already have a few presets, but you can save a preset here. We could just call this uh, live link rebroadcast three. There we go. And then what you wanna do is you wanna get this onto that rebroadcast three onto all of your nodes. I'll go ahead and pause the video uh, here while I do that. Okay, so right here, I am uh, syncing that preset over to my other node, which is my machine sitting right next to me. Okay, so I've, I went ahead and uh, put that file onto my other machine, node zero, which is a machine sitting right next to me here. So I've got my other machine here on TeamViewer, and we can have a look. So if we go into settings here now, um, what we want to do is we want to launch and display with that rebroadcast. So let's go here down to here's node zero. So we can go to our, we want to refresh your live link preset and we'll see our rebroadcast three. And then let's go down to our WSO one and we'll add the, that rebroadcast three as well. So now let's go ahead and launch. Okay. So now um, in your editor box here, what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to change from the rebroadcast. So we, why we launched it this way is we wanted the rebroadcast to be active on the node. And here you, you could just switch it here manually. And now if you go and you move this and let's pull up team viewer here, we'll see that. We'll see that now. When we move our box here, we are moving our node. You can see uh, the delay is is from Beam Viewer actually, but still. So now we are moving this thing around, and now we can control the wall through this technique. Now, in five, I think it was in five four, five four, definitely in five five. There's a better way to do this. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna close this out real quick. And we don't need to do any of this preset nonsense in 5.5. So let's go and let's clear this out. And let's go clear this out. Okay, great. Let's version up on multi-user. 
and let's launch again. Okay, so now that we're up, we see that we have nothing in live link, and that's fine. What you want to do for your project is there is this new thing called live link hub right here. So go ahead and make sure that that plugin is enabled before you launch your sessions, of course. And under the tools menu now, there's this thing called live link hub. So you can go ahead and launch that. And this is an application that will launch outside of the engine that will basically be able to let you control all of your live link uh, comings and goings uh, externally from the engine for every machine on your network. So here are my two machines here, right? Which is great. So now if I just go over here to source and I go to live link input source, you see that it went in here. Now this same live link source is active on both machines. So we don't have to do the in, you know put live link input into one machine and then rebroadcast it to our nodes, which is great. So now I'll just move this out of the way. You see that it's moving around on my first machine, and let's go to uh, there we go. And there we go. And now you're you're driving your wall. Uh, again, TeamViewer is a little choppy, but you're driving your wall with an Xbox controller. And you could use this for virtual scouting. You could use this. We've used it before where there was a shot where people were kind of inside of a a, a buggy and we were driving the wall. We, we were trying to react based off of what the actor was doing with the steering wheel and all that good stuff. But yeah, so here's two ways to uh, do it. One's kind of the more older school, older school way to do it with rebroadcast. And then um, this is kind of the new hotness, this uh, live, live link hub. So you see Richard Graham. Thank him for this. And yeah, hope that was helpful.